Hi everybody and welcome. Happy February. I can't believe it's February already. <laughs> Feels like January just absolutely flew by. Um, thank you so much for joining me today uh, on my floss tube video as I chat about my cross stitch for the month. Uh, my name is Alana. I am Mrs. Smith Stitches here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Um, and I hope everybody had a fantastic month and got lots done. Um, my January didn't turn out quite as expected. Um, I honestly almost didn't film today. I don't really have very much to show. Um, I know my last video was my whip raid and I had um, grand plans for the new year as and for, for January itself. And none of those things happened. Um, or I should say, very little of those things happen. Um, unfortunately, my dad got really sick and ended up in the hospital. Um, my parents live about five hours north of where we are now. Um, and so he was in their local, like small town hospital for quite, for a little bit. And then it was decided that he did need surgery and was transferred to a hospital in Toronto and was there for quite a while. Um, he is home now, but he did spend the better part of January in hospital. So he's home now. He is on the mend. Um, he's got a bit of a recovery ahead of him for sure. Um, but we have sort of spent January just back and forth from my parents' house to the hospital here. I work a couple of days and I go back like kind of like that. My mom doesn't drive, um, and they live really rurally. So, um, it did make it hard to sort of get where we needed to be, stayed a little bit of time in, um, hotels in the city. Um, anyway, so it was just a little crazy. It was, it was just a little crazy. Um, and, uh, but he's doing better now. We are super grateful for that. Uh, so I did some stitching, not a ton. I do have a bit of a haul actually, which for me is abnormal. Um, I don't tend to buy a ton, but I did get my one, two, three stitch order. I did order it to Canada this time. So, uh, I've had a couple of girls or other floss tubers reach out to me to say that one, two, three stitch had changed its, um, I guess shipping company maybe how they ship and the stuff's coming much much faster which was true it took about three weeks to get to me which is pretty good for them um I had one package like last spring that I think got stuck for months it just got stuck in customs so um I often ship to the states and just run across the border and pick it up and this time I decided to try shipping here and it was great it got here within three weeks um I did actually go into uh, Ottawa this morning. Um, it's about probably about two o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, it's very dark day today and I didn't set up my ring light or anything. So sorry if it's a little bit dark, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I did go into Ottawa this morning. I wasn't sure if I was gonna film today. So you'll see this on February the 1st, but um, it's actually a couple of days before that. It is the only day that I have off work. Unfortunately, work has just been, um, taken over by sickness, which is that time of year we work in healthcare, it happens. So I've been working a lot more than um, normal just in this last week. So I don't work today. It's the only day I have off in like 10 days. So I, I was like, I don't have much to show and I wasn't going to film. And then I got up this morning and I'm like, nope, I'm going to go. I had to do Costco. Like I had to get groceries and stuff. It's, it's kind of funny, you know, when like mom's away, right? Like not everything gets done the same way. So um, because I've been sort of back and forth and when I'm home, I'm working, I haven't really just done a good grocery haul and a good, like just clean out pantry and the fridge and all that stuff. Today was garbage day. So it was a good day to do that. So I got up and did all that this morning and decided I was going to head into town and get my stuff from Costco. And then, um, I went to wool time. I did want to kit up a project and wool time in Ottawa sells gentle arts. It's the only fancy floss they sell. They do have the full line of DMC as well. And I did get some of that. Um, but I thought, you know, there it's like almost right beside the Costco. <laughs> so I went, did all that, got my errands, came home. And now I am going to film and edit and get this up, hopefully. So you'll see it on February 1st. That's, that is the plan. So we'll see what happens. Um, I appreciate everybody joining me and I'm going to sort of jump into what I worked on in this last month um, and then I'll go into haul and some plans for February. Um, February is going to, February was always going to be a bit of a crazy month because I am away in Toronto for work. 
um, uh, the second week of February, like the 12th, 13th, 14th. So it was always going to be a little bit of a crazy month. It's also become a work crazy month because there's some other training that I need to do. So I thought I was going to have a bunch of time off at the end, like mid end February when I got back from my trip and I don't have any time off. So I have loose February plans, loose plans for February. We don't know what's going to happen. We never do, right? You never know. You never know. But I will show you what I worked on these last, sorry, get you back. I show you what I worked on the last couple of weeks for January. Um, I did take one stitching project with me back and forth to like my mom's and dad's and the hospital. And I got very, very little done. I think I just couldn't concentrate. Like I just couldn't, I just, your mind is busy with other stuff, right? So I just couldn't really get into stitching. I just sort of randomly scrolled on my phone most of the time if I like wasn't doing anything, which isn't very good, but that's what happened. Um, so I did take with me, uh, Little House Neighborhood by Little House Needleworks. And that wasn't really my plan to work on this in February, actually, or I keep saying February. It wasn't my plan to work on this in January. Um, but it's on 32 count. And if I need a lot of magnification and light to see the smaller counts. So if I have to be somewhere else, I like to take something uh, that's on a larger count. Um, and I... I enjoy stitching on both like small and large. I don't, I always have a mixture going so I can, depending on where I am or, or what I'm doing, I can pick something that will work. If I can't, if I can't see it, I can find something that I can see. So I did take this with me. I didn't get a ton done, but I did get some done. It's coming along quite well, actually. It's almost finished. So I'm, I got down to the bottom border and I got down. You can't really see the windows probably here. Let me do it this way. Um, so I did get some of the windows done uh, in that tree and I finished off the border. So not a ton. Um, it's cute. I really like this one. I think it's so cute. I actually like it behind me on the wall here. I replaced my Christmas sign with one of my Paula Vons, uh, but it has glass in it. So I know you can see the reflection. So sorry about that. I don't have a ton that doesn't. I have none actually that don't have glass in them, but I think this one's turning out super cute. And it's almost done. I just have that one last house. And then I am finished. And I'll get that framed, which will be great. Where did it, there it is. I just want to put everything back in the same order because I find after I film a video, I've just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Especially the whip parades. Just stuff everywhere. Um, I do want to say I really appreciate everybody watching uh, my last video. I did try to keep on top of the comments. I feel really bad. I haven't been near Instagram since basically the first week of February or February of January. Um, I really haven't been online much like at all. Like I just, I tried to make sure I responded to comments, but if I missed hers, I do apologize. I'm going to try to go back maybe today or tomorrow and see if I can catch the last ones. I do appreciate everybody. Um, all the comments and all the likes I do you know I just feel bad I always like to respond to everybody and I know that I haven't been very good at that this month but hopefully hopefully everything's going to go back to relatively normal in the next little bit um, okay so the next project that I worked on was actually my new year new start um, so I don't think I had started this when I had filmed my whip parade I hadn't started it yet so this was my New Year, New Start at Home by Brenda Gervais. I did order this in the summer. I can't remember if I had a start, if I started it early that New Year's Day and had a teeny tiny start. I don't remember. Um, I was waiting on the red. I thought I had all the colors. I had kitted it up when I was in Maine and I, I they must have been, they didn't have that one. I think it's Old Brick or something it's called. So I'll show you my progress on this. I didn't do too bad on this this month actually. So let's see if I can, hmm, let's see if I can get this. Here you go. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so I'm going to do a close up of the um, quote. I did not realize that the quote was one over one. I am doing this on 36 count vintage country mocha, which is the called for with all the called for threads. I didn't do any substitutions, um, but if you can see how teeny, teeny, tiny, those letters were this honestly took me the better part of almost a whole week like now I obviously am only stitching bits and pieces at a time 
Um, it took me forever. Like I was shocked at how long it took me uh, to do the one over one. And I mean, I know my eyes aren't fantastic, but come on, like that took me forever. So um, I think it is so cute though. Like it really looks, it looks really cute. Um, I'm very excited to get this one going. It's a little bigger than I expected actually. Um, it's gonna be a good size. So it's bigger than I expected it to be. But yeah, so there's my progress with at home. I only have four whips to show you guys today. So I, yep, I'm looking at my stuff. I'm like, that's all I got. <laughs> and so the last one, or no, the second last one that I worked on was um, the Snow Sampler by Country Cottage Needleworks. So I was trying to get this finished. So one of the, one of the deals I have made with myself is that I won't start a new project until I have finished something else. So I really wanted to get this finished and I ran out of the, uh, the B5200, I, I thought I had some, I had none, I couldn't find it, couldn't find any anywhere, and then really didn't get a chance to get to a store. Um, where I live, we don't have a store. I think we have a craft store that does sell DMC, but their hours are really limited because it's a small town, and because of my work hours, I just, the few times I've tried to go over there, they've been closed, uh, so I needed to get to Michael's. I did get to a Michael's, and they didn't have any, and then it's interesting because today I got to Wool Time and they didn't have it either. But I did stop at another Michael's and I they only had, I think, six. And I think I bought four. <laughs> I didn't want to buy them all because they feel bad if someone else is looking for it. But for some reason in this area, B5200 is getting really hard to find. So I did not finish it, but I did get close. I just have that one little bit at the bottom to do. So I'm hoping to get this finished this month because um, I do have a few new things I want to start. I am starting something else anyway because... I mean, that's me, but I thought it was cute. I did change the color of the house. The color of the house was supposed to be like a burnt orangey color. And I changed it to a blue, just that I had. I don't even remember the color, I'm so sorry. I can't remember what color, but I wanted a blue. I like blue houses. So that's turning out really cute and almost done. So hopefully that can be a finish for my next video. Who knows? <laughs> what will happen by the time my next video gets out um and my last whip that i worked on was the smith sampler by the scarlet house so i'll give you a close-up i love this one so much um i really really like this one i got a little bit done not a ton not as much as i want well i feel like i'm going to say that with everything not as much as i had wanted to uh this is one of my focus pieces for the year so i'm going to try to work on it every month Sorry, my hair is doing weird things. Uh, I'm going to try to work on it every month. The other focus piece that I have is the um, Modern Folk Embroidery fr Fruits of Plenty Sal, which was uh, Jacob's 2021 Sal. Um, and I didn't touch it this month yet. Well, yet. This month is over. So I won't, I won't do that. Um, so hopefully next month I'll get... My plan on my focus pieces is to do five days uh, on each piece every month until they're finished. So fingers crossed. That, that I will be able to do that for this month. But here is my progress on the Smith sampler. So I did, I'm not sure, I can't remember, honestly, I'm sorry. I can't remember if I had the swan finished or not. I love the swan. Yeah, I love this one. Looks like it's got a little bit of a wrinkle in it. Sorry, I should have probably ironed everything before I did my video today. Um, so yeah. I don't know how great the colors are showing up. It's a super dark day. And I don't know if we're getting the full effect of how pretty the colors are. Uh, but the colors are beautiful in the Smith sampler. Um, I did my own conversion for this. Uh, it's not, I'm not using the called for anything. Um, all gentle arts, I, I converted to. Wow, couldn't think of the word. And I'm stitching it on, I believe it's Heritage by Picture This Plus, uh, 40 count Heritage, one over one. I realized I didn't say what I was stitching everything else on. <laughs> um, the snow sampler I am stitching on this, um, it is the called for fabric. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but it's got the shimmer to it. I don't like it, I would never do it again. It looks cute, but I don't enjoy working with it. Uh, so I wouldn't choose to do the shimmery fabric again. I think it's a, I think it's a 28 count. It is the called for. I ordered the called for. Um, 
and I said what I was doing on, at home on and Little House Neighborhood is like platinum. It's a 32 count Lugana. I think it's platinum. I think that's what it is. Um, and that's my whips. That is all I managed to accomplish um, this month. Um, I can go on to my haul and let you know what's going on there, what my plans are. Um, so I did place an order with 123 Stitch um, and I ordered a few. Oh, I got this. I haven't done anything with it yet though. I got a book of days. I'm always so jealous of people who have these. So I did order one. I haven't touched it. I haven't done any. Oh, it has a pattern on the back. I didn't even notice that. This is how much I've paid attention. Oh, I probably shouldn't have shown that. Sorry. I just want <laughs> so professional. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'll see if I can, maybe I should blur that out. Um, I didn't realize that that's so sweet. I haven't even looked at it. Honestly, I, mean, I can show it to you because there's literally nothing in it. I haven't done anything. Um, I want to get some stickers. I did look at Michael's today when I was here, um, when I was here, when I was there, uh, to, so you see January is just blank. Um, and they didn't really have anything. They didn't, I think I'll have to get on Amazon or Etsy or something and order some stickers. They didn't really have anything. They just sort of had planner stickers or scrapbooking stickers. So I'll see what I can find. Um, I'd like to spend some time today actually and go through, like put all my whips for the year in the back. It does have pages in the back. I'm not planning on adding. I know some people like add pages and stuff, but I feel like I'm not going to do that knowing me. Um, oh my gosh, there's advanced planning for 2025. Yeah. So I'm excited to have one. I'm hoping it really helps me keep like a record of everything that I stitched this year. I think that'd be really fun to have. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I keep up with it. We shall see. Um, I did also order the Prairie Schooler Santas. So I have 2022 and 2023 for my two little grandchildren. Uh, so um, my plan this year is to turn these into little ornaments for them. I haven't chosen the fabric yet. I don't know how small I'm going to make them. Uh, but I'm going to turn them into little ornaments for the tree. This past year I stitched ornaments for all my kids. Um, and so this year I think I'm going to do the grandkids. And I thought that was a really cute thing to do. So 2022 is my grandson. I did actually buy, um, ordered just through one, two, three stitch, the weird, I shouldn't say weird. That's not very nice. Like the, the lights color. This is the color for the lights. Cause I didn't know if we had these in Canada. I still don't know if we have them in Canada, but I thought it would be easier just to order it so I haven't picked fabric or anything. I'll probably start these for Jolly July. Um, they're very cute. So we have the cute little penguin dude. And then we have Snowy Night, which was 2023. So that's for my little granddaughter. I think it's so cute. I thought that would be fun to do for them. Um, so there you go. Those are the years that they were born. Um, I picked up a few patterns from Plum Street Samplers because I have a Plum Street problem. Uh, so I picked up Winter Blessings. They're so pretty. I love this. I love that little lady. And I did kit this up today while I was at um, Wool Time, and I just bought the DMC. So I'm just going to show it. This is how this is how I go here. DMC. I picked up the DMC for this one, as well as I did Hello Winter as well by Plum Street. So I bought this too. Now I do have the Lancaster Red, which is the red I ordered that. There it is. So I did order the red for Hello Winter just because sometimes it's nice to have the variegation. Uh, but I think, I'm not sure what I'm going to stitch. They are stitched on Beach Brew, 36 count and Salt Bush. And I don't have any of those. I know I don't. So I did order a few fabrics though. I got stuff everywhere. So I did order a 36 count Platinum which is actually what I'm thinking about stitching those two on. I do plan on turning them into pillows. Um, this 36 count is very big. Like to me, it almost looks like a 32. Like it is a very loose weave. So I don't know if I'll stitch two over two. I think I have to play with it, especially for a pillow. It might be nice if it's a little bit poofy. I usually stitch one over one on a 36 count. So we shall see. Um, I'm not sure those colors seem to look pretty good on there here we go there's my i'll show you my prof 
professional floss toss. Oh, I've got one over here. Look at this. Here, I'll, I'll get organized here. Here we go. Very professional. Should take a picture and put it. I'm so horrible to put pictures on Instagram. Um, so yeah, so actually they look pretty good. So I'm, that might be my choice actually is to do them on that platinum because it's kind of a stiffer feel. And I find like that's the nicest way to make a pillow. If it's too, like if the fabric's too loosey goosey, it just doesn't go very nicely. Um, I also ordered, oh, I ordered a few. Here, I'll take them out of the plastic. So I ordered Milk and Honey, which is absolutely probably my favorite, a favorite, favorite fabric. Um, and it is, this is the 40 count for Fiber on a Whim. So this is um, what I ordered for my sampler of the season, Sal, that I'm doing, or it's not a Sal, sampler of the season by Brenda Gervais. This is for the spring. So here's my spring sampler of the season. Here, let me put this down, not to mix them up. So here's my spring. I have not kitted this yet, actually. This is just, but I did want to order the fabric. Now, I uh, Milk and Honey is what I'm using for fall as well. I did pick something else different for winter. So this is 40 count, and that's what I've done everything on. So this is going to be for this. Now, when I went to uh, Wool Time, uh, I did kit up the winter. That's what I kitted was... Um, the sampler of the season winter and I'm realizing that because sampler of the season winter calls for only gentle arts it doesn't call for any other floss at all and I'm realizing that besides one weeks which is the Lancaster red which I have floating around here this only calls for um, gentle arts as well so if I was thinking I could have kitted this at the same time um, I do have spring and no, I do have fall and summer started and they share a lot of colors. So for fall and summer, I've just picked up a few that I've needed and shared back and forth. For winter, I decided to fully kit it because so many of the colors are shared. I feel like for spring and like, I'll just keep borrowing from each other. Some of them you only need a little bit of, right? So, um, but I did fully kit when I went to wool time today. So that is sampler, that is spring. I did fully kit winter, where's winter? So there is winter, isn't it cute? And my plan is to start this today. Um, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my evening stitch tonight. So that is my plan for that. So I will show you, I decided to stitch on, sorry. Um, uh, also, this is also gonna be on Heritage. Sorry, this is on Heartland, not Heritage. Is that the same that I did the Smith sampler on? See, this is why I need a book of days. It's a little different. It's a little warmer, I would say. So this is Heritage by Picture This Plus. I wanted something a little darker because the winter one has a lot of white, right? So I wanted something a little darker. And this is, I think this, I don't know, it's very simpler. Uh, this one's a little more model -y. It looks very similar though. I know this is Picture This Plus for sure. Okay, so here is my hair. Someone else did I just said it? Heartland by Picture This Plus. And I actually put um, all my fancy flosses on a floss drop. Look at me. Well, they come on floss drops, but so here is winter. This is what it will look like. These are the colors. They're all still a little twisty because Gentle Arts always has theirs all twisted up. There we go. There's our. I love this blue. There's this like uniform blue here for the house on the bottom. I love it. So I think this will look nice. Some of them are a little light, so we'll see. Um, but this is the white. The white is, I feel like it's, where is the white? Here we go, let me do this. Picket fence. And it's kind of a grayish white. So that'll be the snow. So I think that's gonna show up pretty good on there. There we go. Yeah, I think the white's gonna look good on there. So that's what I was like, con not concerned with, but that's what I wanted to look in, like make sure that this was a dark enough fabric to pull 
the white out because the whole bottom of that is that picket fence color. The whole bottom is the snowy color. So, so cute. So cute. So, I believe the model was stitched. All the models, I think, were stitched on 30 count. Uh, so, this was 30 count cappuccino. Um, but I wanted to stitch them smaller. I wanted to stitch them on 40. Now, these are only available. You have to purchase them through Brenda Gervais' um, site, which is, what is it? Country Stitches Online. Okay. Country, but they are uh, closed at the moment for, I think she's getting ready for market. Um, but when I went to order, they were closed. And then I went back, I think it wasn't long after, and was able to pick these up. She does only ship to the States, though. So she doesn't ship to Canada. So I had to order them and pick them up. But I was very excited I got those. So I got that fabric, that fabric. I got one more piece of fabric, which is actually also milk and honey. Uh, but it is um, a 32 count. I wanted something a little bigger. I do like a bigger count. This one does not have the modeling that the other ones have, which is interesting. Just a little tiny bit, but the 40 counts way more modeled than the 32, which is kind of interesting. Um, I do like to have some larger counts on hand. Um, Cause sometimes I just like to start a bigger project, like a project on a bigger count where I don't need as much magnification. But yeah, it's interesting that the, that the size of the fabric, like, and the type of the fabric, cause like, what is this? This is a even weave, Lugana even weave. Um, looks super, super different from like this. Like, it's probably not so much on the camera, but in person, <laughs> it looks very different. I feel like here it doesn't look different at all, but in person, I feel like it does. My camera's not picking it up. So I did pick up a 32 count just to sort of have for my stash. Um, the higher count fabrics are also less expensive, which is kind of nice. Um, so that, I picked that up. And the last piece of my haul is actually what I'm going to do for um, the winter cross-stitch camp. So I was undecided if I was gonna do cross-stitch camp this year. I'm still undecided for the summer. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but Sherry at the Colorado Cross Stitcher, she runs a cross stitch camp. She runs it every summer for three months, but she has done at least the last couple of years, I think a winter camp. So it runs the month of February. So from the first till, I think today, I think this is a leap year. So till the 29th, um, and she gives you, uh, like a challenge, I guess. So this year is stitch something with an animal. It can be any kind of animal. It doesn't matter. Um, and so one of the things I had actually ordered this on my one, two, three stitch order before I realized, uh, that I was going to do the camp or even the camp hadn't even been released, like what the, um, prompt was going to be. And I, I purchased this. I have had my eye on this forever and ever and ever. It is the drawn thread snow day. Um, it is so stinking cute, like so stinking cute. Um, and the last few times it's been in my cart for a while and the last two few times it had been, um, sold out. So, uh, one, two, three stitch has this, like you can leave your email and they'll let you know when it comes back into stock. And this happened to like pop back in and I was like, Oh, <laughs> I think it's meant to be. So I threw it in my cart, uh, bought it, um, having no real plans to start it anytime soon. And then, um, watched the Colorado cross stitchers, um, YouTube channel floss tube. And she brought up, uh, um, uh, Chris or Christmas camp. No, my goodness. I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> winter, winter cross stitch camp. Um, I believe the hashtag is winter cross stitch camp 2024. Um, she does have a video on it. Uh, so if you want to go and watch her video, she also does have an Instagram. Uh, so it was her challenge is to stitch something with an animal. So this has tiny, tiny birds. And she specifically said in her video, a little bird counts as an animal. So I'm going with it. Um, I just thought this was so cute. And because you're supposed to finish it within the month, I feel like this is reasonable for me to finish within the month. Um, for someone that probably won't have a ton of stitching time, I feel like I can get this done in a month and actually maybe even all the way finished. 
So I just decided to kit this from Stash, which I almost never do because I don't have a very big stash. Like I really don't. It's growing. Um, I have quite a bit of patterns, but I rarely do I have enough, like rarely do I have the fabric and the floss in which to kit it. Like I usually have to order that. So I'm, I'm good at collecting patterns, but not so much collecting other stuff. But I had this fabric in my stash that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I think it's 28 count. It's like a pale blue. It looks very white here, but it is a pale blue. Will it look blue? No, sorry, my lighting's just bad. Um, so it's very, it is definitely blue. Um, and I just decided to pick I should have ironed it. I just decided to pick some floss that I had in my stash that I have finished project projects with. So besides the B5200, I picked up some of that. Um, and then I just picked some fancy flosses that I had. And I'm a little bit impressed because I actually have fancy flosses in my stash, which like I don't have very many of that. So it needed a dark blue and it needed a red and needed a goldy color, it needed a brown color. And I think that's all. Um, here we go. Let me try to lay it out. I didn't put these on a floss drop. I should have. Or like on a ring. So these are the colors I'm going to use. I feel like you can't see. Some of them, like they've been used. They've been used in other projects. Um, but here we go. Dear me. So plus the white. I really need to start getting stuff pretty here. Um, so yeah, so that is my plan. So my plan is to start that February 1st, which is in a few days from now, um, and hopefully get it finished. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I didn't really have plans to do any campy stuff like that. And I didn't have plans for a new start, as we know, because I've been trying to sort of rein in my new starts. But I only bought three patterns, right? Which I thought was pretty good. Because <laughs> I bought the two Plum Streets and I bought Snow Day. I think that's all I got. And then some fabric. Because I am, I'm not necessarily trying to build a stash. Both of the, the, uh, the two fabrics that I purchased were for the specific sampler of the seasons. The 32 count I just bought to have. Um, oh, and I got the platinum too, which I'm going to do the Plum Streets on. So I'm try, I do try not to buy stuff that I might end up not using. Um... I do have some uh, like some like this that I've just picked up from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels that's like a 32 or a 28 or whatever uh, because they're so inexpensive like they're like $4.99 like and they're fine there's nothing wrong with them like um so I do I will when I go to Hobby Lobby and stuff pick up these if I see any I have quite a few there now um or like little Ada like whatever 15 or 15 14 or 16 count Ada's just to have because sometimes it's fun just to do a little project um but I don't have like a big stash of fabric I'm always a little jealous of people that <laughs> that can like get a pattern and be like oh I have that fabric in my stash I was like oh I have no stash but that's okay um I think I'm trying to think. I don't know that I have anything else for today. It is going to be a really short video, so I apologize. I have watched so little floss tube. Um, a little bit at the very beginning of the year before my dad got sick. And then I watched Megan, the Seattle Stitcher, last night. Um, I was starting unfinished stitches this morning. I love them. They're mother-daughter. They're so cute. Um, and they, but I had to stop because I was going out. I know uh, Handmade by Sarah W has a new one and I absolutely love Sarah. So I'm going to get to her as well today, this evening. That is my plan. We're having pizza for dinner. I'm not cooking. Well, it's like homemade pizza, but it's already made. Um, so I'm planning on just uh, relaxing and stitching and sort of just enjoying the rest of my day off. Um, so I haven't really gotten to a lot of... I I might have seen Olivia Pumpkin Hollow Quilt's latest one, but I haven't watched a lot of floss tubes. So I'm hoping to get caught up today um, with some anyway. I know it's hard to, uh, there's so many that are so wonderful and it's it's always so hard to get, um, to get, to stay on top of them. I feel like my list, like, you know, when you go into YouTube and it's like your subscription list is gigantic. Um, and then I feel like I miss people because I take a couple of weeks off from watching or, um, I don't know. They just, I have to go through and be like, did somebody, did so-and-so make a new video? And, um, so yeah, so not a lot of floss tubing done. 
um, or watched this month. Um, I am making some plans. My floss tube anniversary is coming up in April. Uh, so I, I'm making some plans for a special video uh, then. Um, I will do my regular April, April video and then I think I will do um, like more of a giveaway style floss anniversary, my one year floss tube anniversary. Um, I have quite a bit. I have had some wonderful stuff sent to me. Um, and I have given some of it I've done giveaways and some of it I haven't yet. I've sort of been holding on to it. So I think my plan is to do um, more of a giveaway style video. So I'll have my regular April video and then I'll have a floss tube anniversary video. Um, April is also Stitch North, but I'm not going till the very end of the, I'm going weekend too. So uh, that will be more likely my May video that will, uh, you'll get to see all the fun stuff and hear all about uh, Stitch North weekend too. Hopefully I'll get to see some of you there. Um, I did have some happy mail that I'm going to show. I just have to tuck into here for a minute. Uh, this was sent to me by Kristen. And I want to show this. Sorry, I should have taken it out. I'm sorry, I should have taken it out of an envelope before I did that. But she sent me this super, super sweet card. It's so cute. It's lovely. She wrote a beautiful note inside and she sent me the most beautiful pattern I think I've probably ever seen, honestly. And it is called Common Ground. There isn't anything else said about it. Just Nan is the um, designer. Sorry, I'm not really getting this in. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Like it is Beautiful, beautiful. I've never even heard of Just Nan. I'll show you the back of it in a minute. So this is the pattern. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Here is the name of the company or the designer. I'm not really sure. Um, it is, everything in here is just the pattern. So it doesn't say, like it doesn't have, I don't wanna open it on and I get, see, it just doesn't have like details. I don't have a year, I don't think. Oh, February, 2022. It says at the bottom, second edition printing. Um, but it's beautiful. Like I have never heard of Just Nan. I've never heard of this pattern. The, the quote on it, I absolutely love. Like, look at, that is so sweet. It is just so sweet. And then she sent all, She's like me with the Ziploc bags. She sent all of the floss to go with it. And this is all a Vera Soie. No, it's not. I lied. It's not a Vera Soie. It's, oh, it is a Vera Soie. There we go. I'll just show you. Ah, it's so soft. I've never, ever worked with silks before. Um, I'm super tempted to get this. I'm super, super tempted to start this. She did say, um, uh, when she sent it to use it either for myself or for a giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> part of me is thinks I should do it as a giveaway and part of me thinks I should stitch it. So she sent everything with it. All the little like, um, it has the little embellishments with it. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, that's probably very glary. And it all, I don't want to open it because it's like sealed in there. Like, so I don't want to open it. Um, yeah, so thank you, Kristen, if you're watching, this is the most beautiful thing. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just, it's, it's, it was, when I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Cause I got a little like notification that somebody had mailed me something and I was like, okay, I went to the post office. Uh, and I was like, oh, I opened it up in my car. Cause I, I can't wait till I get home. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's so lovely. So thank you so, so much for that. That's beautiful. Um, it might get into a giveaway or I might keep it and stitch it myself. <laughs> I don't think that's been decided, but I have had such generous people uh, send me some stuff uh, for giveaways specifically. Uh, and I do have a little stash here. So I do think what I'm going to do for my anniversary is have a little giveaway video outside of my regular um, videos that I've got. I do think I'm going to stick to the once a month. I know that I had originally thought maybe because winter I get a little bit more stitching time in. I might go back to every two weeks. I definitely enjoyed filming every two weeks. That was something that I really liked to do. Um, I just don't think I stitch enough. 
to um to really warrant a video every two weeks. I don't think I have the time, unfortunately, to get enough stitching in to show you guys. Um, I mean, it's been a whole month and I really didn't do much in this month. So, I mean, life happens and, you know, it's all, it's good. Uh, my dad's doing much better. We're really, really grateful for that, but um, certainly don't necessarily have the, the volume of stitching to show, to do a video every two weeks. Um, but I think I'm going to stick to the once a month. So I will see you back on March 1st. Um, and with some more plans, I think March 1st will be my more plans for Stitch North. I need to start working on um, like what I'm going to bring, what I'm going to work on, but also like table gifts and stuff. I really kind of need to dive into that. I'd like to do something for my table mates. I think most people do. So <laughs> I, I don't want to be the only one that doesn't. I know they do a smalls exchange. I think I've decided that I'm not going to participate in that, even though I know it would be super fun. I don't really trust my finishing abilities, uh, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure, one, I'd get something done in time, and I'm also not sure I'd be able to finish it in a, um, like, in a way that I would want to gift to somebody. Do you know what I mean? Like, I am not a particularly um, experienced sewer <laughs> or finisher it just in general a finisher uh so i am not i don't think i'm going to do the smalls exchange i think i'm going to take that off my plate i had a few things in mind and i just don't think i'm gonna i just don't think i'm gonna be able to get it done but that's okay like it'll i mean it's only a very very small part of the entire weekend i'm very excited i did make sure to book it off work <laughs> i was all of a sudden i was like oh, i never booked that off work so I did. Hopefully that gets approved because I haven't heard back yet, but I'm sure it will. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to be there. I'm going to be there the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm actually coming up the Thursday. I don't think it starts until Friday. Um, but I know a few girls from last year had mentioned they didn't come until Friday. And like by the time they got there and got settled, like they'd wish they'd come the night before. So I'm just going to go up the night before um, and get all settled and organized and and hopefully meet some new friends. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. I think it's gonna be so much fun. So in my March video, I'll go over kind of my plans, what I'm planning on bringing project-wise, um, and kind of an idea for table gifts. I don't really know what to do for that. Something Canadian. I don't really know. Um, and I think, I think that's the video for today. It's a short one for sure. Um, I'm trying to think. I always feel like I forget something at the end of my videos. I think I say that in every video that I think I forgot something, but I think that's everything. That's my haul. That's my stitch in. That's my little life updates. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I thank you all for watching. If you have made it to the very end, I thank you extra <laughs> listening to me ramble on and on about everything. Um, I really appreciate all of you tuning in and, uh, sending me sweet messages and um, commenting on the videos and stuff. It's really fun to talk to everybody and I really appreciate all of the support. Um, I will, I, I am going to try to be more involved in Instagram. I do try. <laughs> I'll go through a phase where like all weekend I'll be on and I'll be like posting and sharing and adding to my stories and then I won't touch it again for like eight weeks. So I think I'm going to try uh, to post my updates a little bit more on the stuff that I'm working on. Um, my Instagram is Mrs. Smith Stitches. It's the same. I've, I've hemmed and hawed over starting a Facebook page because I feel like I like Facebook more. Like I spend more time on Facebook because I follow um, a lot of other floss tubers that have a Facebook page, but also like designers and stuff. I don't know. I think I just like the model of Facebook better, the style. Maybe it's because I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> I think I just prefer Facebook over Instagram for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I feel like it's easier to talk back and forth. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, I have been, I have been kind of going back and forth about starting a Facebook group. So I might do that for um, my next video. I won't do it between now and then probably, but we'll see. Maybe for my next video, I'll start a Facebook group and we can have little chats on there. That would be fun actually. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm leaving now. I've I've ran I've I've 
rambled on enough. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic month of February. I hope you get lots of stitching done. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.